Hi, we're going to talk a little bit about the ideation phase. This is the first step along the entrepreneurship journey where your happiness level is going to be quite high and there's a lot of initial enthusiasm. So it's very important that as an entrepreneur, you are identifying problems, real problems that your customers, existing customers or new customers actually care about and would therefore be interested in looking into solutions. To help with that, the management team might be doing some innovation mapping and innovation thesis. That is to help understand where in the organization it makes sense to innovate. And the types of ideas that we're actually looking for are of the more disruptive nature. You should be asking yourself, is there a lot of potential for things to go wrong? Are there a lot of unknowns? Are we maybe going to be doing things differently to how we've done it before? And therefore an entrepreneurial mindset and entrepreneurial skills are going to be required. Also think of yourself as an individual and try to get into your own mindset and your own motivation. Why are you personally going to invest in this type of project? What is it about the idea that motivates you? Because you're now going to embark on this journey that could take up the next six months, nine months, or even 12 months um, of part of your working life. So is there a strong enough motivation here for you to continue to seek out solutions to a particular problem? And think about how to go about identifying entrepreneurs, other people to form your team. Entrepreneurs have a certain personality, right? They are go-getters. They want to be motivated like you are and passionate like you are. Um, but also they should be able to contribute to solving these problems. So you want to be able to form a well-balanced team.